Kimbrough, Purvis Ellison in the middle with Keith Williams and LeBradford Smith at the guards. The guards for Florida State, the Ron Mays and George McLeod, Tad Hunter in the middle with Mitchell and Dawson at the forwards. And we are set to play basketball here in Columbia, South Carolina. And Jack, the game and the championship important because of this seed that you get in the NCAA. Pat Kennedy said he thought yesterday's the margin of victory over South Carolina was worth a four or five seed swing to him. Well, those things are little things make, make such a big difference when it comes to the seeds that uh, you're right, a, a big victory over uh, South Carolina here on their home floor to carry them a long way. But Bradford Smith got the tip, but it's picked up by George McLeod. Shot off the heel of the rim, and the ball out of bounds. It'll be Louisville basketball. Let me mention very quickly that the Perrins will be starting to be announced at 5.30, and we are monitoring Kansas City. We will have those announcements for you just as soon as they are made out of Kansas City, and we'll let you know what's going on with Metro Conference teams as far as where they'll be placed in the NCAA as soon as it's announced. The Bradford Smith buries the first shot of the ball game. Well, we mentioned LeBradford in our open. He has been playing well lately for the Cardinals the last couple of ball games, and uh, that's getting off to a good start for him. Ron Mays puts up the jumper. Well, he might be pumped up. He shot that thing up there strongly. Well, he did. Not a good shot because the Cardinals, they were right on him that time. Keith Williams. That's Tony Kimbrough. Took it inside and struck it. He didn't score yesterday. He gets too quickly today. Well, and they need points out of Kimbrough. He can't, just simply cannot go through another game without giving the Cardinals something on the offensive end. 4 nothing. Louisville breaking on top here. Florida State. Trying to get on the board now. You know, the first two games between these two teams were surprisingly low scoring. 81-78, 78-77. And these are teams that love to score. Florida State's averaging 92 a game. Louisville, 82 a game. Well, one thing you don't realize is both of these teams play pretty good defense in addition to liking to score a bunch of points. Louisville has it off to a good start. Florida State starting cold. Well, Bradford, Kenny Payne, 6-0 Louisville. Well, the Cardinals doing a good job on the offensive boards. Right now, it looks like Florida State trying a little bit too, too hard. Pat Kennedy calls a timeout. He wants to discuss it here early. Boy, that Louisville bench is celebrating the quick start, and so are the Louisville fans. Florida State gets the timeout with 18-22 left in the first half. So far on the inside game, the Cardinals have gotten some second shots also, and they've not done a good job of handling the ball under pressure. Kenny Payne scored on a second shot, 6-0 Louisville. Pat Kennedy taking the quick timeout to try to stop the Louisville run before it turned into something major. Down six, they can handle. Right. No, they've made three of their four shots, but Florida State hasn't made a shot. Derek Mitchell getting two shots at it, and is fouled by Kenny Payne. First foul in the ball game. Florida State doing a job them, themselves on the offensive boards. Mitchell, as we said, had a great basketball game yesterday and getting his career high 20 points in the win over South Carolina here yesterday uh, has a chance to get two free throws right here. Florida State trying to accomplish something that they haven't been able to do in the past, win the Metro Tournament. Louisville has won six tournament championships. Florida State has been in the championship game for the fifth time now. They have yet to win one. They played Florida State twice in the championship game in 78 and 80. Or they played Louisville, I should say, in the championship game twice, Louisville and Florida State. And Louisville won them both, 94-93 and 81-72. Well, Florida State just can't get it going. Derek Mitchell's free throw wouldn't fall. Kenny Payne rebounds strongly to Tad Hunter. The next shot is almost becoming automatic for Payne. He very seldom misses that one anymore. The foul. Derek Mitchell again takes it inside. He's fouled by the Bradford Smith this time. Derek Mitchell starting to create things down in the paint. Well, the Cardinals still doing a good job getting back defensively there. Florida State wants to run and gets, try to get some easy baskets, but the Cardinals just simply not giving up those transition, transition baskets right now. Tony Dawson. The Ron Mays. Ron Mays back to McLeod, and McLeod puts up the off-balance shot and gets it. And Florida State on the board at 6-2, Louisville. Well, he does such a good job putting the ball on floor and on the floor and scoring in traffic. I thought that one was going to be too hard, but he used the backboard and got that one to go. Well, Bradford Smith wide open on the baseline, drills one. He has four, and it's 8-2, Louisville. 
Florida State trying to pick up the pressure on their four-court uh, zone trap, but the Cardinals do a good job of handling the ball. Dawson shot misses. Kimbrough. And LeBradford down court. Boy, he picked that pass right off the floor of the state bench and missed the shot. But Keith Williams is right there and took it out of McLeod's hands and scores. I think someone got LeBradford Smith on the arm. At least he is sign signaling to the official that he got fouled on that jump shot. It came up way short, but Keith, Keith Williams right there, just simply in the right place at the right time. When they threw the long pass down court, it was actually out of bounds, although it hadn't been touched. And the Bradford reached out and picked it off the face of a Florida State player sitting on the bench over there. Tab Hunter, turnaround jumper. 10-4, Louisville, Williams to Kimbrough. He's wide open. Florida State just let him shoot it. Well, they are. I think Florida State's going to have to come out of that four-court zone trap. Global's doing just too good a job against the uh, four, in the four-court pressure. McLeod, great dish to Tad Hunter. He missed the reverse dunk. Out of bounds to Florida State. What a feed from McLeod down inside, and Felton Spencer's going to come in the ballgame for Louisville. Well, it was. It was an excellent pass, but you're going to see Hunter just a little bit too far out to try this reverse dunk. That basket right there was the easiest that they've had a chance to shoot. They're definitely going to have to convert on them to get back in this ballgame. Tony Kimbrough lost his man down there, and he's come out of the ballgame. Felton Spencer in replacing him. I'm not sure that Tad Hunter knew quite where the rim was that time. No, he didn't. Not often the player will lose the basket, the feel for it down there, but I think he did there. Le Bradford, Felton Spencer, and Theron Mays battle for the rebound. It's going to be called a jump ball. The arrow belongs to Florida State. It'll be Seminole basketball. Irving Thomas now checks into the lineup, replacing Mitchell, and Pat Kennedy's going to jump the three guard and go to a couple big men right now. Well, they're just simply not uh, getting anything done down low, and that's the reason why you see Irving Thomas in there, and Thomas is a good player. Of course, he had his career high 18 points and 17 rebounds against the Cardinals in Freedom Hall, so uh, it would do Florida State well to get him involved in the offense here, here early to get him going. He had two big games against Louisville, scored 27 in the two games, and picked off 20 rebounds, but again, Florida State missed Keith Williams right back for Louisville. Tad Hunter clears the rebound. That's been an opportunity for the Cardinals to just pull that ball out. There's Thomas. Well, there he is. I thought it would be important for him to get going because when he plays well against the Cardinals, Florida State usually wins. We'll see if that one can get Florida State going. Felton Spencer trying a tough catch in traffic. Irving Thomas is going to be whistled for the foul. Denny Crum. There's Irving Thomas. I'll tell you, Fred, I've not seen the Cardinals play with this kind of emotion in a while, and it's real exciting to see them running the floor as they're doing right now. Oh, Kenny Payne just came out from behind that out-of-bounds play and uh, got the three-point basket to go down, and the Cardinals, everything going well for them right now. 15-6, to six, Louisville by nine, and Florida State's going to spend another timeout. Louisville has hit Florida State with a shot to start this ballgame. 14.52 left in our first half, and Louisville with a nine-point lead over Florida State. He could use his size, so um, I thought it would be important for him to get going. Well, and he's got it going. He scored four points. This guy would rather be playing today with George Felton, the head coach here at South Carolina, sitting in the crowd watching the game. Louisville off to its torrent tor start at 58%. Florida State has hit just three out of 11 shots. Louisville's hit seven out of 12. Florida State off to a cold shooting start, and the Seminoles find themselves down nine points in a hurry. Irving Thomas, that was partially blocked by Curtis Ellison. He got a hand on it. And here come the Cardinals up by nine. Payne, Williams, well, they're getting people wide open. Oh, they are. They just simply out quicking Florida State at this point in the game. And if you notice on the offensive end, every one of Florida State's shots, except for on a couple of occasions, have come from the from the outside. George McLeod that time used his body well to draw the charge, uh, to draw the foul. Once again, I thought felt, uh, Purvis Ellison playing pretty good defense, and so does Denny Crump. He's letting the official know about it right there. Well, Purvis, who usually doesn't have anything to say, barked at the official a little bit, and Denny Crump let him have it. First foul on Purvis Ellison. Substitutions now for Louisville. Tony Kimbrough is coming back into the game, and Everett Sullivan is checking into the lineup. Purvis Ellison will come out of there, so will Bradford Smith. George McLeod to the free throw line. 
He is an 89% free throw shooter, a 6'6 senior from Daytona Beach. He made two free throws with seven seconds left. Ice that game at Freedom Hall. Florida State won it by three. LeBradford Smith got a 3.5 at the gun and missed it. Then Everett Sullivan, who just came in the game, won the game for Louisville at Florida State with a three at the buzzer in overtime. When he made that big free throw yesterday to uh, defeat Memphis State with two seconds to go. So Sullivan is a pressure player. McLeod hits them both. He has four. Nine-point lead, Louisville. Keith Williams. Florida State in a 2-3 zone defense now. Well, they switching up under there. But, uh, they're just trying to pick up the pressure to force the Cardinals to shoot the ball from the outside. So far, they've been pretty successful, although they didn't get that one to go down. Williams was wide open again, but missed the shot that time. But Irving Thomas trying to rebound, slipped. And it's out of bounds to Louisville under the Cardinal basket. Thomas, a 6'9 junior from Miami's Coral City High School. Everick Sullivan handles the inbounds pass. Williams to Sullivan, and he walked with the ball. Florida State gets it back, down by nine. Well, they're going to have to now, Fred, take advantage of every opportunity. They're down 17 to 8, as you say, and uh, they just simply need to get going here and work the ball to get some good shots. I, as I say, they're shooting so many shots from the outside, and they're not getting good defense, good offensive rebounding position, that they might need to be a little bit more patient work the ball down low. Florida State has not played defense well in the early moments of the game either. McLeod, great pass to Tad Hunter. He missed the dunk. He was fouled by Kenny Payne. He missed a dunk in yesterday's ball game. Second foul on Kenny Payne. He was fouled that time as he went up. Well, when you have shot blockers, as uh, as the Cardinals do, when you're on offense, you have to take the ball to the basket very aggressively. And as I say, Florida State needs to work the ball around just a little bit better to get some good, better shots. And that's what happened that time. Ted Hunter, though, normally he will he will make that shot. He's strong enough to bury one even when he's being fouled. You saw him hang on the rim a moment there. That's allowed if you're fouled. Well, he's not a real good free throw shooter, only 65% on this season, so uh, that's one area of this game he needs to uh, concentrate on a little bit more. Florida State not shooting free throws well. They're just two for six at the free throw line. Irvin Thomas is fouled now as he got the rebound. That's Tony Kimbrough's first foul. Florida State getting some good bounces right now, but they're not getting anything done. They're still stuck on that eight points. Just can't get off of that mark. Well, they had a dunk come back out. And they've missed two free throws. Now, Irving Thomas goes to the line. He's a 74% free throw shooter. And gets his first one. Well, that's their first point in almost a minute. Florida State beat South Carolina 80-63 yesterday. Louisville won an absolutely outstanding game from Memphis State, 71-70. Yesterday in the semifinal round, and now Florida State three for seven on the free throw line, Jim. Well, that was an exciting basketball game between the Cardinals and the Tigers of Memphis State. Both teams played extremely well. Keith Williams wide open again. Well, I think Florida State, they're playing that 2-3 zone, and they're running, trying to double-team the basketball, and the Cardinals just doing a great job of moving it around, finding the open person. Williams has had four wide-open shots. He's hit three of them. David White's going to enter the game for Florida State. McLeod's shot comes off the rim. Theron Mays picks up the rebound, takes it to the baseline, and it's out of bounds. It's going to be Florida State basketball. Another one of those outside shots that... Uh, Florida State has relied on in this basketball game, and they're just shooting a horrendous percentage from the outside. You see what Bradford Smith and David White in the game did. You see what they did? They helped each other up all the yeah. floor. They were sitting together on the floor in front of the scorer's table. When the buzzer rang, they grabbed hands and pulled one another up. But they got the ball to George McLeod, but he was standing out of bounds. Florida State turns it over. McLeod, he's 1 for 4 from the field and 0 for 2 from 3-point range. But you can look for him to get going. He is very explosive on the offensive end. Each team has turned it over just one time. Now McLeod has it back for Florida State. 
At some point, Jack, you would think George McLeod's simply going to take it over for Florida State and make something happen. Well, you know, he's wanting to do that, and I think one thing that he's doing is he's trying just a little bit too hard right now. He is uh, shooting the basketball from the outside, has been shooting it well, but right now the shot's not falling. He needs to be a little bit more patient. Irving Thomas misses the jumper from off the key. Louisville still up by 10, and they have the ball again. Everett Sullivan. Three won't fall. The rebound fought for on the baseline. Louisville going to be called for the walk. When you're Spencer struggling, Wilson, there. excuse me, Fred. When you're struggling from the outside, as Florida State is doing right now, you have to find a way to get some easy baskets. And uh, relying on those outside jumpers is just simply not the way to do it. Well, Bradford Smith almost came up with the interception. The ball is out of bounds. It'll be Florida State basketball. Derek Mitchell is back in the game. The Ron Mays has come out of there. They've, they're finding a few outside shots, but it's Irving Thomas and the big people taking this, not the guards. It's not the people that you want shooting it from the outside. And then when you're uh, under the kind of pressure that they're under when they're shooting the basketball, that, of course, is not a good shot either. McLeod, the Bradford Smith with him. They go to Thomas. Tough shot over Burton Spencer, and he got it. Man, and that's about the toughest shot that has been made in this ball game. Five points for Irving Thomas. Eight-point lead to Louisville now. LeBradford against Derek Mitchell. LeBradford Smith takes him to the top of the circle. See Florida State now on a straight man-to-man -man defense, and we'll see if that defense works any better for him. Felton Spencer is going to be called for a foul. Derek Mitchell, a small man, a guard, 6'3", got in under the 7-1 Felton Spencer, and Spencer fouling, reaching for the ball. Well, but you see uh, Spencer right there going for that loose ball, and he knows that when he is in the basketball game, he's in there to do a couple of things, and that is to rebound, and to give his body up for people setting screens and making sure people get open. If he picks up fouls doing that, that's okay because that's his job. McLeod shot won't fall. Tony Kimbrough rebounds. Eight-point lead to Louisville. Everett Sullivan, the ball knocked loose by McLeod. Sullivan picks it up, gives to Ellison, wide open on the baseline, but missed him. Tat Hunter rebound. Florida State's got a chance to get back in this thing. Well, they're just not working and getting good shots, Fred. I keep saying that, but... Uh, just relying on the outside jumper, it's not falling, so you have to work to get something else. Tony Dawson trying to create it is fouled by Tony Kimbrough. The second foul on Kimbrough, Payne has two. That is the sixth team foul on Louisville. Florida State has been whistled for one. And that could be something major if Florida State could make a free throw. Well, that's the thing you do. When you're not shooting the ball from the outside, put it on the floor or throw it down low to try to get, some, get fouled in the act of shooting. You get to the free throw line and have a chance to make them from there. But Florida State is just four for nine at the free throw line right now. They're over five from three point range. McLeod is over three. Kimbrough has come out of the game now. Cornelius Holden is in for Louisville. Now Florida State is four for ten from the free throw line. That is not a way to get back in it, Jack. Well, it's not. 10 43 left in the first half. LeBradford. Put a move on Derek Mitchell. The shot doesn't go, but Purvis Ellison grabs the rebound. He's got Holden down inside, and he's fouled by Irving Thomas. I tell you, both teams really forcing it offensively. Uh, you see, I've seen more bad shots in this game than I've seen in one game in a long time. You're going to see the uh, offensive rebound right there by Ellison, and he's going to get the ball down low to Holden. There's the foul by Irvin Thomas. He pulled his arms back and tried to avoid picking up the foul, but he did get him across the arm. Cornelius Holden is a 6'7 freshman from Los Angeles. He's had troubles on the line of his own. He's a 54% free throw shooter, but got that one down in a hurry. But he's going to be an excellent player for the Cardinals. Hasn't really played a, a whole lot here, especially lately because of the fact that Ellison's playing so well and so is Spencer coming off the bench. Uh, but he is going to be a tremendous player for the Cardinals before his time is up. Florida State with a basketball down nine. They turned in a great performance here in beating South Carolina yesterday, but they're not playing well in the early minutes of this one. And there's a steal by Everett Sullivan. It's just too easy, Jack. Yeah, that, that full court pressure that time uh, paid off for the Cardinals. Mitchell to Tony Dawson and Felton Spencer commits his second foul. Well, I love the way both of these teams go for the block shot, well, especially the Cardinals. Any time that Florida State makes a move to the basket, you see two, at least two and sometimes three red shirts up there going for the block. Look right here. There's... Spencer down there, Holden's down there, Ellison's coming in from the other side. Well, they love that block shot. Yeah, they gave a foul to Holden. I was wrong. I thought they were going to charge Spencer to charge Holden. It's his first foul, and Dawson misses the free throw. My 
they missed another one. Well, free throw shooting, so much of free throw shooting is mental. And if one person misses it, it seems like everybody gets to thinking about it too much, and you find the whole team is having problems from the free throw line. Florida State is 4 for 12 from the line. Purvis Ellison nails one at the other end, and the Cardinals are up by 13 and moving away with 9.54 left in the first half. McLeod to the trap. Feeds Hunter. Shot good. That Hunter has four. Well, you saw that shot there, Fred. Uh, Florida State was able to get away from the Cardinal defense in the backcourt. George McLeod did a good job in the three-on-two situation to get the ball to Ted Hunter for the easy jumper, but they just simply haven't done that enough. LeBradford. LeBradford Smith has six points. And when the Cardinals play like this, they're almost unbeatable. They're taking advantage of their quickness in every position, and Florida State looks totally out of control right now. 13-point lead to Louisville. And their fans on their feet and roaring. McLeod picks up the long pass at midcourt, and now he's fouled. Everick Sullivan got him from behind. The first on Everick Sullivan. North Carolina beat Duke 77-74 for the ACC championship today. In the Big East, Georgetown over Syracuse 88-79. In the Southeast Conference, Alabama by a dozen over Florida. On oh, Alabama, they've been playing well. You see Ball State beating Kent State in the Mid-American Championship game. Rick Majerus has his club in. Well, George McLeod was 2-for-2 two two before he shot that one. Florida State now 4-13 from the free throw line. Amazing. That one, the front end of a one-and-one. Purvis Ellison. Felton Spencer muscles it back up, and he's fouled. Well, he wanted a bucket. Right, I tell you, when the Cardinals are playing like they're playing right now, they're almost unbeatable. Florida State is an excellent basketball team. They're a very good team, and uh, the Cardinals just making them look very bad right now. Felton Spencer to the line, 75% free throw shooter. There will be one turn in the championship determined tonight, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Will play tonight. Other than that, this game is about as late starting as any championship game today. The pairings will be announced out of Kansas City at 5.30 Eastern time, and we'll be right on top of it. We're monitoring Kansas City, and at the moment the pairings are announced, we'll pass them along to you. At least those that involve Metro Conference teams. We'll give you as much information as we can, as quickly as we can. Try to save you some channel hopping. Pat Hunter outside in the cloud. McLeod, Derek Mitchell, oh, he turned down a good shot, took it in traffic, he's fouled. Oh, he did. Mitchell passed up an opportunity. That's about as wide open as they've been from the outside. Oh, Had Hunter missed another one down low before that. There's the shot he passed up. He saw Holden coming out there, and there's uh, Purvis Ellison reaching in to commit the foul. Second foul on Purvis Ellison. Denny Crum talking to an official over near the bench. There's Purvis. 8.43 left in the first half. This thing has been all over so far. Derek Mitchell is 0 for 2 on the line. Florida State. Now 5 for 14 at the free throw line. I tell you, they make some of these free throws. It's a totally different basketball game, but they've just simply struggled from the free throw line. Derek Mitchell puts together two back-to-back, -back, and now it's a 12-point lead to Louisville. 8.39 left in the first half. Cornelius Holden, Bradford Smith. Mitchell got a hand on it, but Bradford puts a couple of moves on him, jumps in for it, take the bucket away. Bradford jumped into Derek Mitchell that time, and he looked over the bench for a reaction from Denny Crum, and he's shaking his head. Yes, you did do it. See the, see the jump in right there. He leaned in. The shot did go in the basket, but wiped that one off. It does not count. One thing that's in Louisville's favor right now, Jack, or in Florida State's favor, Louisville has some people kind of in foul trouble. Payne has two, Kimbrough two, Purvis has two, LeBradford Smith has two, and so does well, Felton Spencer only has one. They got a bunch of people with two fouls already. Going to be a little bit careful defensively. Maybe it'll open up something for Florida State. Well, that's true. Uh, the only thing, though, is that everybody that seems to come off the bench for the Cardinals uh, have so far, they have done a good job. 
Well, they left Derek Mitchell alone. He did not turn that shot down. He hits his first field goal of the day. And now Florida State back within 10. Everett Sullivan and Derek Mitchell collide. Blocking foul on Derek Mitchell. Well, good call by the official Pat Kennedy over there. Doesn't like it, but I thought Mitchell was moving when the contact was made. Good call at that time by the official. Let's look at it right here. Mitchell, you see him kind of pointing out to his teammates what he, where their position is on the floor, and he stepped in just as the move was made. Time out here, 7.59. Left in our first half. We'll be back right after these messages from your local station. This is the Raycom Sports and Entertainment Network. Compared to the noise of a gas outboard, any electric fishing motor seems quiet. NFL Citibank Visa Card. Now carry the card of your favorite team and earn free NFL gear just for using it. Call 1-800-NFL-VISA today. Back to action we come. In Columbia, South Carolina, the Metro Conference Tournament Championship game. Well, Florida State, uh, 6 of 19 from the field, 32%. 6 of 15 from the free throw line for only 40%. The Cardinals doing a good job in both categories offensively. They're 3 of 4 from the free throw line, 12 of 22 for 55% from up on the, uh, from the uh, field. 7.59 left in first half action here. Purvis Ellison picks up the inbounds pass. Wants some help now. Has to move it. Throws it away. It'll be Florida State basketball. Seminoles now with a chance to get back within eight points. Well, no one, came, no one came to help Purvis Ellison out that time. He got caught in the corner with the basketball, picked up his dribble, no one to pass it to, and finally ended up throwing it away. Tony Dawson. Now it's an eight-point ball game. Man, but, but Florida State now, they're getting good shots. They're working the ball around. They're more patient, much more patient offensively, and just taking their time on the offensive end. Purvis turnaround jumper good. Purvis Ellison has four. I thought maybe four it like they're picking it up. A little more energy on defense that time, too. Well, you have to get back into it defensively, and that's what they're doing. McLeod. Pat Hunter. Oh, Mitchell was alone in the lane and didn't know it when he caught the ball. By the time he saw how open he was, they were closing on him and he couldn't get the shot away. That, that's the first foul on Purvis Ellison. That could hurt Louisville. Purvis is going to have to come out of the ball game. He draws his third foul with 7.06 left in the first half. Tony Kimbrough is reporting to the scores table. And in the ball game, he comes to replace Purvis Ellison. Hey, Kenny Payne has been on the bench a long time for the Cardinals also. Tony Kimbrough will be Louisville lineup. Bradford Smith sitting down right now. Payne has two fouls. So does Kimbrough, and so does LeBradford. And Purvis Ellison now with three goes to the bench. Derek Mitchell just hit a couple of free throws. Has four points today. And Florida State now six for 16 at the free throw line. Boy, that's amazing. And they keep missing the front end of one and one. Well, they have shot over 76% as a team during the Metro Conference play. To travel. Dalton Spencer slipped and went to the floor. I tell you, he really kept one of his pivot. He kept his foot down. One foot did not move. I'm surprised they called that a travel. Of course, any time you go to the floor, you normally see, <laughs> you know, that call made. But you saw Denny Crum over there on the sideline demonstrating what happened on the play. That's a great sequence. They're both coaches were screaming at the officials. <laughs> Uh, Denny Crumb's telling him he didn't move his foot, and I thought he did a good job of making sure he kept that one foot stationary on the floor. It's an officiating great Jack. It's a job in which you have to start off being perfect and then improve as you go along. Well, I, I tell you, it's, uh, it, it's been a tough uh, Metro Conference tournament for this officiating team. I think overall they've done a pretty decent job. Made it too. Irving Thomas working on Felton Spencer doesn't get the shot, and the cloud has Keith Williams with him. Now he pulls up, fires for three, and it's off the rim. Rebound. You know what? That might have been Florida State basketball. Yeah. It may have been touched over there by Everett Sullivan, but the Ron Mays wasn't about to officiate. He went after the ball, touched it, and then lost it out of bounds. Well, we're going to see on the replay that I think you're right. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. You can hardly tell from that angle, but I thought uh, initially it looked like he did touch it. George McLeod 0 for 4 from three point from behind the three-point line. Once again, he needs to be a little bit more patient, work a little bit harder offensively for a little bit better shot. We have a whistle in the lane, and Felton Spencer has been whistled for his second foul now. Louisville racking up fouls, but Florida State simply not taking advantage of it. 
Well, if you can't make the free throws when you get the opportunity, it just doesn't, it doesn't do you any good to get those fouls. David White and Derek Mitchell coming back onto the floor for Florida State. Tad Hunter is out. Mitchell will report for McLeod. They're going to give McLeod a little breather here. The foul trouble. Louisville has an abundance of it right now. Florida State, as a team, has committed only four fouls. Well, even McLeod has fallen victim to the free-throwing malaise. He's three for four. That one was all over the rim before it dropped. Well, sometimes those good shooters uh, get that shooter's roll, and that time he did. McLeod hits them both. He has a half dozen points, and he's going to come out of the game for a while. Derek Mitchell will replace him. 6-11 left in the first half. Louisville by eight. Florida State back in that 2-3 zone. When they were in that defense earlier, I thought that's when the Cardinals really made their run because they were moving the ball around so well. Let's see if they continue to do that against the 2-3 zone. Ball goes inside. Cornelius Holden picks it up after it's deflected, and Holden scores. Well, that right there was what they were able to do. Somehow, they were able to work the ball low against the 2-3 and get the good shot. Louisville by 10. Derek Mitchell, David White. Ron Mays. Blocked by Felton Spencer. Saved by Irving Thomas. Shot is short. Felton Spencer rebounds. Here they come with numbers three on one against Derek Mitchell. And Edrick Sullivan converts it. A perfect three on one. Keith Williams giving credit. Did a good job of holding on to the ball and got it to go. Down at the other end, Felton Spencer fell down in midcourt. And Irving Thomas took advantage to score an easy two at the other end. He has seven. Louisville by 10 at the moment with 5.03 left in the first half. Florida State staying in the neighborhood, Jeff. Well, they are, and the Cardinal bench wanted a charge on that play, but I thought Thomas did a good job of uh, slowing down and going straight up on the jump shot, although Sullivan did go down. There was some contact, not enough to justify the charge. Everett Sullivan, Keith Williams, and a foul on David White. Well, obviously not a good foul by White. The ball going away from the basket in that situation. White reached in and committed the foul. He's going to go out of the basketball game. Tad Hunter is back in for Florida State. Louisville up by 10 with the basketball. 439 left in the first half. See you. Florida State could get this down to about a half dozen at halftime. They should feel pretty good about it. So Ron Mays, nice without it protecting the ball. Now that's, uh, that's a good opportunity there. They took advantage of the good defense that they played on the other end, something that they haven't done a lot of in this basketball game so far. Now it's an eight-point ball game again. So Ron Mays, first two points of the day. Keith Williams, Tony Kimbrough. Dribbles right through the trap, and he walked. Florida State gets it back down by eight. Seminoles may be mounting a charge. Purvis Ellis on the bench with three fouls. And four of the Louisville players with two fouls each maybe having to play a little bit softer on defense right now. Nine turnovers for Louisville. Right. Kenny Payne has two, and so does LeBrett Smith. Both of those guys on the bench. Florida State defensively now, they're running and double teaming the basketball. Kimbrough that time, I thought, tripped up with someone's foot. The official didn't call it, though, and they called it travel instead. George McLeod, three points short. Looks short. short. He was way short with that try. He's 0 for 5. But here's what happens every time. Every time you take a bad shot, it seems like the other team gets something easy. And George McLeod shot that one from way out in the floor. Nobody in defense, in offensive rebounding position for Florida State. And the Cardinals ended up getting a dunk by Keith Williams. Louisville by 10 again. There was nobody from Florida State back. Three Louisville players were down there by themselves. Irving Thomas. Thomas working hard, can't get the shot. Tell you what's going to happen pretty soon. McLeod's going to stick a three and then go on a tear. Theron Mays tries one off the back of the rim. Strong rebound to Everett Sullivan, the freshman for Louisville. Cardinals up 10 with the ball, 253 left in the first half. Dalton Spencer with a strong rebound. Foul against Florida State and Felton Spencer talking to official Pat Kennedy. Well, talking to his players. 
Fred, it's plain and simple what has happened here in the last three or four trips down for both teams. Florida State has gone away from what they were doing to get back in the game, and that was working the ball around, getting good shots, and throwing the ball down low. The Cardinals, on the other hand, they've done a good job of getting the easy shot. Time out here, 2.49, left in the first half. Louisville still up by 10. 1988, it was a very regal year, with the Buick Regal nameplate outselling every other midsize coupe in America, including Thunderbird, Cougar, and LeBaron GTC. Why was Regal such a smashing success? I guess you could say that we Americans know a good thing when we drive it. Buick Regal, the best-selling midsize coupe in 1988. The great American world belongs to Buick. There's a motor oil that talks about world-class protection. Catchy phrase, but Valvoline is recommended by name in the owner's manuals of these world-class cars. The other motor oil is not. Whatever you drive, Valvoline makes the highest quality motor oil recommended by any car manufacturer. Around the world, people who know, use Valvoline. You know what a three-point play is in basketball. Here's what it is at Days Inns. Great rooms, great prices, and great locations. And thanks to our 300 owners throughout the Metro Conference. Uh, hey, everything going well right there. Holden was able to penetrate against the 2-3 zone defense Florida State had on the out-of-bounds play, and that's the way it's going for the Cardinals right now. Jack, look at the rebounds in this ballgame. That is amazing. 27 to 8, Louisville. 27 to 8. That just uh, just simply doing the work, doing the work on the on the boards for one team and the other team not going to the out, going to the glass. But a lot of those shots that Florida State has taken have been from the outside, and their team just simply hasn't been able to get in rebounding position. Third foul on Felton Spencer now. He joins Purvis Ellison. Both of the Louisville big men have three fouls. Florida State still has not made a three. They are, what, 0 for 9 now from three-point range? Yes, they are. 0 for 9. Kenny Payne. Cloud, 0 for 5, excuse me. Kenny Payne, in the ball game. Kenny Payne now replaces Purvis Ellison, or rather Felton Spencer. Purvis Ellison has been sitting down since the seven-minute mark with three fouls. Spencer gets his third with 2.23 left and a half. And Kenny Payne has been sitting a long time on the bench also. Uh, he has two personal fouls. It's going to be important for him not to pick up his third. Brad Johnson comes off the bench to hit a free throw for Florida State, a 6'6 sophomore. He's from Black Mountain, North Carolina. Brad Doherty's hometown. A quarterback on the Seminole football team. They think he may be in the thick of it, a battle for the starting job next year. He gets them both. Louisville ball. 2-12 left in the first half. The Cardinals up by 10 points. Florida State has not had a lead in this game. Well, they're trying to pick up the pressure defensively to uh, force some turnovers, but every time they go into that trapping defense, it seems like the Cardinals do, a, do such a good job that they end up shooting something wide open up under the basket. Sullivan back out to Brewer. Kenny Payne. Kimbrough charging. Florida State gets it back, down by 10 with a minute 52 left in the first half. Right, Kimbrough now with three fouls. So that's three Cardinals now with three personal fouls. Kimbrough is going to catch the ball down low. They've been able to work it around the Cardinals have, have, but he just leans in instead of going straight up on the jump shot and commits his third foul. He'll have to sit down the last minute and 52 seconds of this first half. Keith Williams comes back to the floor for Louisville. He has eight points in the first half of this game. Well, and the Cardinals with a real small team on the floor right now. Holden at 6'7 is the tallest player in this. Brad Johnson sets up from three-point range, and he's short with a try, and Florida State now 0 for 10 on threes. Johnson digs his own rebound over there, misses the shot again. Loops in and out, and here comes Louisville. James Brewer fires it up court. Everett Sullivan will take that shot. It's in and out, and slapped out of bounds by whom? Was it Kenny Payne? Got the hand on it. Florida State gets it back again. Right. There are the guys in foul trouble. All three of them have three. Kimbrough. Ellison and Spencer for Louisville. Can do nothing right now but sit and watch the first half come to an end. 
But their team still up by 10. Excuse me. That's it. Florida State now tries to work the ball down low and take advantage of the smaller Cardinal team in there on the floor right now. Mitchell takes Brewer low, got a screen from Dawson, but the shot wouldn't fall. But Dawson is able to get the rebound, Jack. Right there, uh, with uh, Purvis Ellison on the bench, also Felton Spencer on the bench, Kimbrough's on the bench. All of those players stood inside people for the Cardinals. It should be an opportunity for Florida State to work the ball down low. Derek Mitchell's going to take the jumper. It is a six-point ball game now, and Florida State is taking advantage. Derek Mitchell has a half dozen points, and Florida State has rallied. They're within six with 45 seconds left in the first half, 39 on the shot clock. Now, Lola needs to work the ball now for the last shot. About a five-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock, but still the Cardinals will do good here with 20 seconds left on the shot clock to use as much of that 20 seconds as they can. 16 on the shot clock. 10 on the shot clock. They take it inside to hold it. Stolen. Florida State could get within four. So Ron Mays had it knocked out of his hands out of bounds. There's still 10 seconds left in the half. Florida State's going to get a shot here. Well, not what they want. It's still a lot of time on the shot clock when the Cardinals try to force the ball down low. So Florida State with a chance to get another two points before this half is up. Hey, look. There are the turnovers. Really big in Florida State's favor. Oh, Dawson was wide open under the basket, and they didn't throw in the ball. A wide open up under there. Someone fell asleep for the Cardinals, but they got a break. Derek Mitchell's shot's going to miss. Cat Hunter tips, misses, fights for it again, and the first half comes to an end. Oh, Tony Dawson was standing wide open under the basket. And I didn't see who was taking the ball out of bounds that time, but someone really missed him. Denny Crown is really upset with an official, saying something to him before he heads to the locker room. We are at halftime, and Florida State has taken advantage of some Louisville foul problems to move back within six points at halftime after being down by as many as 14. Halftime score, 38-32, Louisville. But they will get the ball out of bounds. I think the ball would have gone to the Cardinals, the arrow pointing in their favor. So the ball would have gone to them had the technical foul not been called. So it's cost Louisville a point in possession of the basketball. Now Florida State down by five. Well, they got Dawson on the baseline. The shot missed. The ball tipped around. It'll be Florida State basketball. Seminoles really need something positive to happen. For them. Well, they need to make it happen here very quickly, Fred, because they got off to such a, a bad start there in the first half, and it looks like now that they're not going to get the ball out of bounds. The official just laid it down there, and they did get it up. Purvis Ellison kind of shielded <laughs> one of the Florida State players who was trying to get to the ball. It was Tony Dawson. He had to run around Purvis Ellison. He picked it up and got it in a hurry. Mays to Dawson on the baseline. Tony pumps it right into the middle to Irving Thomas, and the shot rolls around and falls. Well, I think that's a good decision to start, Thomas, although he had three personal fouls. He did play well for Florida State in the, in the first half, and he plays well against the Cardinals, it seems, every time out. Florida State now within three, and Kimbrough throws it right into the hands of Florida State's Theron Mays. You know the Seminoles could tie it on this position? They have not hit a three all day. They're 0 for 9 from three-point range. Well, this is the closest they've been since... The score was 2-0. to zero. The Florida State turns it over, and the Bradford Smith pumps it home. He has eight. Louisville by five, and that's kind of been the story of the day for Florida State. Well, it seems as though every time they make a run, the Cardinals do something defensively to get the game back, the momentum back on their side. McLeod, Tad Hunter. Tony Dawson comes up short with it. Shot up pretty quick. Well, he did. I think shot selection is going to be the key. Florida State didn't use good judgment in the first half on a lot of occasions. Kenny Payne gets a good shot at the other end and sticks it. He has seven points. 42-35. Louisville very quickly has stretched the lead back to seven. Just underway in the second half. 18-18 left in the championship game. And I thought he traveled. Mays traveled along the baseline and got away with one. Tony not, Dawson. Not a good shot. That's what we saw early in the basketball game when the Cardinals built up that big lead. Florida State now 0 for 10 from three-point range. Keep well, going. Look what happens. That happens almost every time, Fred. When you shoot, use bad judgment and shoot a bad shot, the other team is usually able to go down and get something easy. It's a nine-point lead, and Pat Hunter has found Keith Williams. A 
Cardinals had Kennedy up working. It's going to be the foul right here. Once again, the Cardinal defense really playing. Pat Hunter just goes in there out of frustration and commits the foul. Florida State got within three to open the second half. Pat Hunter, you see, coming out of the ball game now. Louisville has immediately put the lead back to nine, and they have the ball. LeBradford Smith, Tony Kimbrough, dropped it, picked it up, needs some help. Double team in the corner and fouled by George McLeod. The first foul on McLeod. Florida State trying to pick up the pressure defensively. They did that late in the first half, and they were able to get some easy baskets, as you see the field goal percentage. Florida State not starting off much better than they did there in the first, first half. And Louisville, perfect in three tries. 17-40 left in this game. Winner gets the automatic bid to the NCAA, and they'll get a better seed. Although both of these teams surely in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, and so is Memphis State. And Memphis State also. South Carolina, they're kind of one of those teams that are on the bubble, as they say, and just simply hoping to get a bid to the NCAA tournament. Kenny Payne to Purvis Ellison. Purvis has a half dozen points. They'll start announcing those pairings in just a few minutes now to Kansas City, and we are monitoring Kansas City, and as the teams are selected, we'll let you know. You don't have to go channel hopping. You see the difference in, in the shot from either end. The Cardinals really working the ball around well, moving the ball inside, getting the good shot. That's the first time Florida State has been able to work the ball around and get the ball inside. Seven points for Tony Dawson, 46-37 Louisville. 16-45 left in this game. Kimbrough, Keith Williams. Oh, Claude to Ellison, who got a nice pass to Payne, and he's fouled as he got his own rebound. He missed the first shot, got his own rebound. Ellison really gave him a nice pass. But you talk about uh, all the things that Purvis Ellison does, and one thing that doesn't get mentioned a lot is the fact that he, that he is a great passer. Watch the tip, tip pass right here to Kenny Payne. He misses the shot, but good second effort right here to get the shot again, and he gets fouled on the uh, shot. He'll have two free throws. McLeod picks up his third foul. Louisville, three for four at the line in the first half. Kenny Payne, an excellent free throw shooter, 84% from the line. His first free throw attempt today. Florida State is now 11 for 22 at the line. Louisville, four for five. Seven thirty-seven Louisville with sixteen thirty-five left in the first half. On the Cardinals, they're continuing to play with a lot of poise and a lot of concentration on both ends of the floor. Oh, that's a foul on Kenny Payne. Now he has three fouls, Jack. On Kenny Payne, his third. I think overall the Cardinals have been pretty fortunate so far that Ellison hasn't ball. picked up his fourth or the Bradford start. Tony Kimbrough, who also is playing with three fouls right now. Team fouls in the second half. That's the first on Louisville. Florida State's been whistled for three. Dawson. Mitchell. McLeod. Oh, big rebound and stick back for Irving Thomas, and he has 11 points. Uh, that's the one thing that Thomas does well, and that is... He does a good job going to the offensive board. The Bradford Smith stepped on the end line. Florida State trying to fight back again. The Seminoles down by nine with 16.04 left in the game. Well, Keith Williams uh, threw on the loud pass that time, and uh, just simply uh, no one was there. What, what a, was a good idea because Ellison was open up on the basket. Irving Thomas takes it to the bucket, and Ellison got a hand on it. And now a foul is called on Irving Thomas. No, I think nope. they're going to get Kimbrough with his fourth personal foul. It was Kimbrough, you're right. Both players going to the basket that time for the basketball, and Urban uh, 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 Thomas missed one, but of course Purvis Ellison's going to come in here and get a hand on it. That's what I like about him. He's always around that basketball, and there's Kimbrough coming over the back that time. He's going to have to go to the bench with four personal. Kimbrough's had a tough tournament. He didn't score yesterday. He had four points quickly in this one, but now he's been in foul trouble most of the day. We have a timeout here. 15-54 left in the Metro Tournament Championship game. Louisville leading Florida State by nine. Florida State three for eight. And in the game, Florida State is 0 for 11 from three-point range, Jack. Well, and that's what guys like George McLeod, who is a tremendous three-point shooter, he hasn't stretched from out there. Deron Mays 
Got a good shot, missed, but the rebound, Tony Dawson. He got a stick back, his fourth point of the second half and ninth of the game. Now it's Louisville by seven. Felton Spencer is going to come back into the Louisville lineup. Well, that's the one thing that Florida State has been able to do here in the second half, and that is get the second shot. Oh, somebody from Florida State, I think Irving Thomas backed off that time. He started to challenge Keith Williams in the lane, then backed off, and Williams got another easy shot. He's had a lot of wide-open shots today. He's found a way to find the theme in, in that Florida State defense every time they've gone to that 2-3 zone. The Cardinals, of course, they would much rather play the man-to-man -man defense, but since, since they are in the foul trouble, they, they have to go to that 2-3 zone. Purvis Ellison he thought he had been fouled along the baseline. Reminded that Jack Gibbons and I will select the forward player of the game at the conclusion of today's telecast, so stay with us. Denny Crum. Felton Spencer, number 50, in the lineup for Louisville. Louisville has led every second of the ball game today from the first point. Florida State has not had the lead, not once. It's interesting, Fred. I watched uh, Kenny Payne as he went to the bench. Denny Crump said, I just can't play if you're not going to get the defense and get the rebounds. And uh, Florida State now finding a way to work that ball down inside and score some easy baskets. Irving Thomas with 13 points. He has come off the bench to play strongly for Florida State. He's leading him in scoring. Seven-point lead Louisville, 14-40 left in the game. Purvis Ellison showing his little ball handling ability there. Keith Williams. Ellison does it all. Cornelius Holden for Louisville. A freshman. LeBradford Smith got by for Ron Mays and scores. I love to see Ellis, uh, LeBradford Smith take the ball one on one. He has such good talent that anytime he does that, you can look for good things to happen. And late in the game yesterday, he took the ball one on one and got fouled in the act of shooting a big three point play. And a foul. Evan Thomas that time simply frustrated because he didn't get the shot to go. He picked up his fourth foul and uh, just a, a defenseless foul in that case. Team foul, second half, fourth on Louisville. You're going to see Thomas right here. He's going to get a good shot and he misses it, but watch how frustrated he gets after that. Look at this right here. He just goes in there and he had his mind made up before he even committed the foul that he was going to do that to try to make up for missing that shot. Set fourth on Louisville. 14 foul on Florida State. Louisville's been whistled for two. They're keeping Irving Thomas in the ball game, though, Jack, in spite of the fourth foul. Well, look for the Cardinals to work the ball down low against him to try to force him to pick up his fifth foul. Well, there's LeBrack for Smith going one on one again. And as I say, he has the ability to do that once he catches the ball. He's so quick, especially with that first step that he is capable at any time down there to create something good for himself. Now Thomas comes out of the game. Derek Mitchell, Ron Mays, George McLeod, Tat Hunter, and Tony Dawson on the floor right now for Florida State. LeBradford Smith, Purvis Ellison, Cornelius Holden, Felton Spencer, and Keith Williams for Louisville. But Bradford Smith now has 11 points today. That foul was on Derek Mitchell, by the way, his second. And the fifth on Florida State in the second half. It seems like every time the Cardinals, excuse me, Florida State tries to get back into the basketball game, the Cardinals turn the defensive pressure up just a little bit and force some turnovers, get something easy on the other end. Now it's Louisville by 11 with 13.37 left in the game. Mitchell, McLeod. Funny throw, that one in the basket. They got to give him a three-point three. throw. He throws <laughs> it through the lob. <laughs> and it went right through, man. Nobody even knew what happened. The plays went quiet. Florida State was 0 for 11 from three-point range. Trying to make here. them. Goes right in the basket. <laughs> That's their first three, and they weren't trying. His first three-pointer <laughs> of the game. They were 0 for 11 trying. They're 1 for 1 not trying. Oh, boy. What does that tell you about this game? McLeod, well, he looked stunned when that happened to him. Not only him, but everyone else. <laughs> Nobody even realized until the Florida State bench stood up and started holding their hands up that the ball went in the basket. Now Cornelius Holden foul. Hey, that could have been called offensive goaltending because I don't know if Ted Hunter got a hand on it or not. And I think that's one thing that the officials, they were kind of looking at each other to see, but there was no call made. 
Foul was on Tad Hunter, his second. Cornelius Holden, the freshman, has seven points. The free throw misses. Florida State down nine with the basketball. 13-17 left in the game. Well, and wouldn't it be ironic if that's the shot that gets George McLeod going right now? He's had a horrendous shooting game from the outside, but sometimes that's all it takes to get him going, and he makes his second one, you know? I mean, that's all it takes. You hit it right on the head. Now it's a six-point lead to Louisville. Well, someone who is, is as good offensively as McLeod can be, but well, it's strange how little it can take to get him going. Hey, he's smart enough to figure out, hey, if I'm going to be lucky, I'm going to be fired. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to keep on putting it up. It's a lot of times better to be lucky than good anyway. Cornelius Holden. Tip by Edison, no. Felton Spencer's there. And they get the foul on George McLeod. Second foul on George McLeod. He thought Felton Spencer had come over his back. I'll tell you, that is a big call. Let's see right here on the replay. Don't see McLeod right here. Oh, man. How can you call that uh, on McLeod? <laughs> I don't blame his reaction on that play. That's exactly what he was wanting to know. 12.33 left in the game. Boy, he is upset. George McLeod has gone to the bench for a let's moment. See, let's see this again, Fred. I, I'll tell you, he's up under there in pretty good defensive rebound position. Oh, man. From that angle, I think you saw a little bit better even that Felton Spencer was guilty of coming over the back. 56-49 Louisville. Felton Spencer gets both free throws. Pretty big swing. You know what? That would have been Felton Spencer's fourth foul, too. Instead, McLeod picks up his fourth and has to spend some time on the bench. I still don't think he'll be over there very long. It's a lot of time left in this ball game, but if you see the Cardinals score some points here pretty quickly, I think you'll see him back in here. 12 minutes and 20 seconds to go. This is a key stretch in the basketball game for both teams, but especially for Florida State as you see George McLeod sitting there. Now Felton Spencer has committed his fourth foul and he does leave the game. Derek Mitchell misses the shot, tipped out of bounds by Florida State. It'll be Louisville basketball. Cardinals up by eight with 12-15 left in the game. Cardinals, they continue to do it defensively. You have to give them credit. Every time Florida State tries to make a run, they pick up the pressure defensively and force the turnover or, or a bad shot, and they've come down every time, it seems, and taken advantage of the opportunity. Keith Williams. Cornelius Holden. Louisville trying to win their seventh tournament championship. Florida State has never won one. Look at how patient the Cardinals are right now. You can expect them to get the ball right there and let Curtis Sauer come out for it. Curtis Ellison now has eight points and a foul on the Bradford Smith. And we just saw the Bradford's high jumping ability. High jump 6'10 as a freshman in high school, and you can see why when he's called for this foul. Well, watch the reaction here. I think Keith Williams kind of gets him right there, and actually it was LeBradford who came up with the with the clean steal, it looked like, on that play. We have a timeout here, 11.37 left in our game, and Louisville leading Florida State by 10. The way they need to, and that is keep this guy that you see on the free throw line very much involved in their offensive scheme. 10-14 left in this game. Louisville is up by 11, and Fergus Ellison is on the free throw line. And I look for George McLeod to get off the bench and to come back in here pretty quickly because, as I say, this is a key stretch, and he does have four personal fouls, but... Steele... Seven left in the game, and the Louisville fans celebrating here in Columbia, South Carolina. 
We'll be back right after these messages from your local station. This is the Raycom Sports and Entertainment Network. Mr. Sullivan, of course, he knows what to do with it. And look at the reaction. Most uh, emotion I've seen the Cardinals play with in a while. Louisville will play Arkansas Little Rock in Indianapolis. They'll be the number four seed, we just find out, in the Midwest. Illinois is the number one seed in the Midwest. Indiana was sent to the West. Louisville will play in Indianapolis. They'll play Arkansas Little Rock. Louisville is the number four seed. You know, I think the Florida State's going to wind up in Atlanta. Yeah, they probably will. We're waiting for that announcement. So the Metro is going to have four teams in the NCAA. There were five teams eligible. Four of them are going. They're batting 800. That's not bad. Yeah, that is. <laughs> That's good. This is the largest Cardinal lead, 66 to 52. Florida State with McLeod back in the game. They have to start right now cutting into this. Nine minutes and 50 seconds left in the ball game. Oklahoma is the number one seed in the Southeast. McLeod. Well, you'll see McLeod continuing to do that and uh, look for the Cardinals maybe to run some kind of uh, trick defense at him, maybe a box and one or something and make sure that he doesn't get going any more than he is. That's three three-pointers in a row, including that lob pass that went in the basket. The first one a mistake. He was trying to throw a pass at that hunter. How about for Virginia is the number five seed in the Southeast? That's a little surprising. Kenny Payne tries a three. A little strong. Derek Mitchell. Oh, they got numbers down. Oh, well, they hit Kenny Payne in the back with the ball. It's going to be out of bounds to Florida State. Well, Florida State real. will play Middle Tennessee Jack, excuse me, I think in Nashville. Yes, in Nashville. Florida State will be in Nashville. Not a good decision that time by... Come on, look at that three-point. Oh, what? Oh, what? McLeod now has hit four straight threes in the second half after missing his first five. Eight-point lead, Louisville. Boy, that was a big-time three-point shot. Fred, I almost had to stand up and applaud on that one. I was that much impressed with that shot. Tony Dawson. Oh, the shot is in and out. Tough shooting left for Florida State. That one would have got him within six. Still plenty of time left in this ball game. Derek Mitchell. For Ron Mays. Well, now Florida State doing it defensively. Picking up the pressure. It's a six-point lead to Louisville with 8-11 left in the game. Florida State down by 14 moments ago. Comes fighting back. An 8 to nothing run. Continue to work to get the ball down low to Curtis Sullivan. As the Cardinals, I wouldn't do anything else. He's I would have counted. Yes, I would force Florida State to come back in there, maybe double or triple team Curtis Ellison. He is smart enough and crafty enough with the basketball that when he fills the double team, he can find someone else open. But right now, he's having an opportunity to work one-on-one, -on -one, and Dawson just simply cannot stop him. He picks up the foul. Ellison has a chance for the three-point play. Purvis is having a strong second half. He has a dozen second half points, 16 in the game. 69-60 Louisville, 7.52 left in the first half. So again, the Metro now has four teams in the NCAA tournament. Cody Dawson's three-point attempt misses. Jack Gibbons and I will select the fourth player of the game to conclusion of today's telecast, so stay with us. 7.37 left in this championship game. That's a walk. Florida State down nine, getting the ball back with 7.37 to play. That's the 18th Cardinal turnover, and that is the one area of the game that the Cardinals have struggled. McLeod hits a three. Boy, Kenny Payne fouls up under the basket. Dawson will have a chance to go to the free throw line. No, they're not in the... They're not in the bonus, so he will not. You see McLeod make the three-pointer from the outside, and Kenny Payne up under there just hooked Tony Dawson with his elbow and threw him to the floor. They will not get the free throw, but they will get the ball out of bounds. He was 0 for 5, McLeod was, from three-point range. Now he has made five, in a, five out of five from the free, free, three-point line. Tell your guys. Tell your guys. 
Spencer's coming back in the game. He has four fouls. Number 50 for Kenny Payne. Look at him. He's holding his head down. He knows that this simply has not been his game. He goes back to the bench. To Ron Mays. Tony Dawson is fouled. Oh, he's going to be called for the charge. Well, and I think it's a good call by the official that time. He, he had made up his mind beforehand that he was going to take the ball to the basket. He kind of fumbled it a little bit right there, but, well, you can't play any better defense than Holden was playing at that time. As I said before, the Cardinals continue to answer the charge every time Florida State has made a run. And they've done it defensively, as we saw on that play. Holden playing excellent defense down low to pick up the charge. Louisville with the basketball, leading by six with seven minutes left in the game. And again, the Metro Conference has four teams in the NCAA tournament. Sullivan missed. Cornelius Holden is right there, and a foul is called. now to go to the line for two free throws working hard down up under the basket that time got fouled Cornelius Holden makes that one he's only a 54 percent free throw sh shooter so uh, to make that one is a real big one for this young man he's at four for five today Florida State down seven, 6.47 to play. I look for Florida State to go to go right back to McLeod, but Keith Williams, boy, he is all over McLeod. Mitchell in the corner. To Ron Mays takes it to the lane, dishes inside to Tad Hunter. He'll take the jumper. It's off the rim. Cornelius Holden goes up and clears the rebound for Louisville. Well, Hunter blew an excellent opportunity. It was wide open up under the basket and did not take the ball in the easy two when he had an opportunity waited for the defense to adjust and had to change his shot around didn't get that one to go Keith Williams the Cardinals now on that high low offense and Purvis Ellison he is working right now 18 points for Purvis Ellison 14 of them here in the second half 558 left in the game Louisville now by nine to Rod Mays three won't go Felton Spencer has it and Louisville with a chance to stretch for it again Mays knocks it loose. Picked up by Derek Mitchell. He's going to go on the drive. Left hands it up there, and he's fouled by Felton Spencer. And Felton Spencer is fouled out of the game. I think Florida State needs to understand that there's still a lot of time left in this game. Five minutes and 45 seconds, so that's not a reason to go down every time and to throw up the three-point shot. Mays that time came up with the steal and got that one to... Didn't get it to go down, but he picked up the foul on Felton Spencer, so he'll go to the line for two free throws. Spencer also has eight rebounds to go with those three points, so he has done his job off the bench for the Cardinals. Kimbrough coming in to replace Felton Spencer. Derek Mitchell. Free throws just simply not been there for Florida State in this game. They have just had a disastrous day on the free throw line. They're two for four in the second half now and 12 for 24 in the game. Cardinals are now starting to really milk, milk the clock. Very patient, and they have been able to do that and then work the ball around to get the ball down low to Purvis Ellison and just allow him to work one-on-one -on -one down low. Everett Sullivan in the lane, shot good. Oh, he changed that shot around two or three times in the air before he let that one go. Florida State simply doesn't need that. They don't need that. They can afford to work it around. Still five minutes to go. You see the clock there on the screen. Plenty of time. Tony 
Kimbrough. Well, good second effort that time by Mays. Deron Mays now with six points today. He's still an eight-point lead. I've not seen many teams that as aggressive as the Cardinals are in trying to block shots. They go for everything down low. Irvin Thomas back in the basketball game. Thomas has played well. He's done a good job down low. He's been in foul trouble the whole game, though, and hasn't really been able to get a lot of minutes. Irving has 13 points in this ball game. Everett Sullivan scoring some big points late for Louisville. He now has nine. Well, they've gotten a lot of help off the bench the Cardinals have. That foul trouble could have been a problem, but uh, Felton Spencer came in and played well, although he's fouled out. Of course, Holden has played well off the bench, and so has this guy shooting right here, Sullivan. He's played well off the bench also. Everett Sullivan has 10 points now. 4.23 left in this game. Louisville leading by 10. Mitchell lost it for a moment, gets it back. Thomas with a miss. Cornelius Holden has got a couple of big rebounds late for Louisville. Holden has played well. He's come in and relieved some of that foul pressure that the Cardinals were under. Hey, the guy that I like more than anything was uh, the job that Purvis Ellison has done in this game so far. Well, he's had a great big second half, Jack. He has scored 14 points in the second half of this game. Pat Kennedy hopping up and down over there. The foul was on Theron Mays, his first. I'm not sure if Pat was talking to his team or the officials. I think maybe his team. I think so. Because they're not doing a good job offensively. They're coming down and they're just throwing up shots when they need to be a little bit more patient. Of course, uh, three minutes and 47 seconds left is a whole lot less than a little bit over five minutes that uh, was left when they started throwing up those three-point shots. But that was plenty of time for them to come down, work the ball around, and get some better shots. 13 points now for Keith Williams. We have time out here. 3.47 left in this basketball game in Louisville. Up by 11 over Florida State. The Cardinals closing in on their seventh Metro Conference Tournament Championship. So we'll go to the Midwest and play Arkansas Little Rock in Indianapolis. Florida State goes to Nashville to play Middle Tennessee. Memphis State goes to Boise, Idaho to play DePaul. And South Carolina in the East. I think they're in Providence and they play North Carolina State. Is that correct? Uh, let me check. I, I know they're, they're in. The, well, they are in the East. We have it on the screen here. We'll check the location for you. But four Metro Conference teams in the NCAA tournament. Yes, they are in Providence, Rhode Island. Dawson misses, but he's fouled. Florida State down by 11. Still with some time to do something about it, Jack. Well, they can. Uh, when you are the, uh, an explosive team, as Florida State is, of course, they're a whole lot better when they work the ball around and set up for the good shot. But they are capable of scoring a lot of points very quickly. Remember this. The game in Tallahassee, they were down five points with 11 seconds to go and got it to overtime. Yeah. And then got beat at the gun in overtime. Well, when you have the offensive weapons that Florida State has, you can never count them out. But uh, you have to get good shots. I think, too, the Cardinals have picked up the pressure a little bit, especially on McLeod. He made five three corners in a row so they had to pick up the pressure on him and they have done that Cardinals really doing a good job on the in the rebounding department against Florida State 43 rebounds for the Cardinals to 22 for Florida State Williams, they got numbers. Purvis Ellison turned down the jump shot and decided to kill a little clock. Well, good decision. Good decision. 323 left in this game. Louisville leading by nine. Florida State has not had the lead all day. 
So the Cardinals now in their slow down offense, a 1 4. They try to get the back door, and that's what they got. Keith Williams missed the opportunity. Here comes Florida State down by nine. Dawson's going to take it to the hoop, and he scores. By Dawson. 15 for Tony Dawson now. Three minutes left. Seven point lead, Louisville. Cornelius Holden in backcourt with the basketball. Right to Keith Williams. Pressure and all over the floor. Denny Cross going to call the timeout. And that was a good call, good timeout call by Denny Crump. Cornelius Holden, I think, got hit in the face. He's kind of holding his nose as he comes off the court. Timeout comes with 2.53 left in the game. Louisville still up by seven. Now look at that arm come down. Oh, man. Fortunate to be standing up because this Dawson's forearm came down right across the face of Cornelius Holden. 77-70 Louisville. 253 left in this game. Again, the Cardinals trying to win their seventh Metro Tournament Championship. This is the 14th tournament. If they hold on to win this game, they will have won half the tournament's play. Memphis State has won four, Cincinnati two, Virginia Tech one. Florida State has not won a tournament championship before. They've been in five championship games. Back door to Everett Sullivan. He turns it down. That's rare. But it's out of bounds. And it'll be Florida State basketball. They're down seven with 2.33 to play. Well, the Cardinals, they've missed two great opportunities for back. They, they made great backdoor cuts to the basket, and they've gotten pretty good passes. But Keith Williams missed the layup, and that time Sullivan fumbled the ball away. Look for McLeod to find, try to find a way to get a shot off. Ron Mays wide open, goes for three, and nails it. Well, he has been shooting him from out there, and that one looked good from the time it left his hand. That's his first three-point goal of the day. He has nine points on the afternoon, and now Louisville's lead is down to four with 2.11 to play. Well, that's what I said, Fred. There's plenty of time left in the game. Uh, we saw Florida State a little bit earlier coming down and throwing up those three-point shots like there was less than a minute to go. Denny Crum has called this time out. Now the Florida State fans beginning to celebrate a bit as well within four of Louisville. Oh, they've got Purvis wide open for the oh, reverse man. slam dunk. Dawson came out trying to pick that pass off. It was just a floater against the pressure defense and bad decision that time. That one looks short. It is. Ellison has the rebound. The LeBradford Smith. Steal. Derek Mitchell making the run of LeBradford pulls up, shoots off balance and misses. Got it back. Tries it again. He's fouled. He counted. All right, Keith, Keith Williams, Williams is down and hurt. Keith Williams down and hurt. The basket counts. The foul is on Keith Williams. His first. Well, Mitchell looked out of control that time going to the basket, but he was very fortunate. You're going to see this steal right here by Mitchell. Now, he's going to be out of control. Probably should have given it up right there, but shoots that one falling away, and the ball's just going to drop in his hand. There's Keith Williams. Comes down on his foot. Turns his ankle a little bit, but you can expect that he's going to stay in the game. Too much pressure on the line for him to think a whole lot about that ankle being, being a little bit sore. 135 left, as you see there. Four-point lead, Louisville. Florida State has not led all day. They're still trying to find a way out of the woods here. Still trying to find it. Keith Williams, he's really a competitor. That's the reason why I think that he's not going to let that ankle bother him. He wants to be in there in the middle of things right now. You know what? A turnover and a three-point goal, and this thing is tied. There's 134 so that's left to play. Almost. That's a near steal. It's going to be Louisville basketball. So Ron Mays got a hold of it. Couldn't hold it. Well, almost the turnover, Fred, you were talking about. Denny Crum, Pat Kennedy, the ball clubs. 132 to play. Purvis. Great dish inside to Keith Williams. Well, Florida State's man-to-man -man defense just breaking down. Individual effort just not there for Florida State in one-on-one -on -one situation. Tony Dawson. It's a three-point game again with 113 to play. Leverage Sullivan in backcourt. George McLeod chasing him. They trap him at midcourt, but Keith Williams comes up with it. Well, good decision by Williams. Purvis, foul, near turnover, but LeBradford safe. Oh, he almost threw it right to us. 56 seconds left in the game, and a steal. Florida State down three. Dawson's down at the other end. Missed the shot. Right. Now 47 seconds left. The time for Florida State to just sl slow it down and work for a good shot. McLeod doesn't want to pick up his fifth foul right here. Purvis lost it, but a foul is called. Well, Purvis had already lost that one. The ball was going to go out of bounds, and it would have been 
Florida State ball. Instead, it's a foul on Derek Mitchell. It sure would have been Florida State's basketball. Well, a lot of action. It would have been an opportunity here for Florida State to just slow it down and work the ball around. They need a three-point shot here. And uh, Dawson just lost his footing a little bit too far up under the basket when he caught that one. But Pat Kennedy is way out on the floor. Wants to talk to an official as we have a timeout here. Both ball clubs going back to the benches. We have 37 seconds left in the game. A three-point lead to Louisville. Purvis Ellison will be on the line. And he has had a great second half. Purvis has scored 20 points in this ball game, 16 of them in the second half. Seven rebounds for Purvis Ellison today also. He's two for two at the line. Well, he has played well, no question about it. When the Cardinals have needed big baskets, he's been the guy that they've gone to. Again, Metro teams in the NCAA. South Carolina plays North Carolina State. Memphis State plays DePaul. Florida State plays Middle Tennessee. And Louisville will play Arkansas Little Rock. Seven seconds left in this one. Cardinal fans having a little fun. They can't celebrate it yet. No, they can't because there's still plenty of time. Plenty of time left. And the Pac-10 championship, Arizona beat Stanford 73-51. They are the number one seed in the West. And Missouri beat Oklahoma by 12. Oklahoma is still the number one seed. They're the number one seed. That's one thing that happens when they put the pairings out before the, those final games are over. Boy, Arkansas hammered Texas in the Southwest Conference Championship game, 176. There's Purvis. Louisville up three with 37 seconds to play. No better person to have on the line. As I say, you expected to make them, didn't you? Yeah. Well, you know how I feel about Purvis. I, 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 can, I think he can do just about everything. He now has 22 points today, 18 of them in the second half. He sat out seven minutes of the first half with foul trouble. Florida State down five. They've got to go at it in a hurry. Mitchell gives it to Irving Thomas. The shot off the rim. Fighting for the rebound. Thomas got good. 24 seconds left. Florida State out of timeout, so they can't stop the clock here. There's a foul, and they fouled LeBradford Smith. LeBradford Smith is an 85% free throw shooter. Yeah. 17 seconds left now. Well, he has made uh, 12 straight coming into this game. He's made 12 straight free throws. So another good one to have on the line if you're the Cardinals. Mitchell has fouled out, but he has played a great basketball game. Tremendous effort by Mitchell. Mitchell sits down with 10 points on the afternoon. Got a career-high 20 yesterday in the semifinal win over South Carolina. LeBradford today is 2 for 2 at the line. He has 12 points. Yeah, Louisville, in the end, when it's written, will have won this game at the free throw line. And uh, as close as it, as it is, you can see also that Florida State may have lost it from the free throw line because they have really struggled from the free throw line. Louisville is at 14 out of 17 in the second half. Florida State has shot 50% from the line today. Is it? 14 out of 28. It's a four-point game with 17 seconds to play. It's a five-point game with 17 seconds to play. McLeod double-teamed, trying to find room to shoot a three. Does, misses. And LeBradford runs it down in open court. Seven seconds to go. And Louisville has won their seventh Metro Conference Tournament Championship. The game is over. Louisville defeats Florida State 87 to 80. Shaking hands with Florida State players. Louisville celebrating the championship. Louisville now at 22-8. On to the NCAA. Florida State at 21-8. 